Hello, everybody. Um, I just wanted to get us started on our Easter card. Now, this is probably going to come out on Easter or maybe after, but that's okay. It's still a really cute card. And what's really great about the set that I'm using is it has additional um, pieces to it. So you can do Christmas. Uh, let's see what there's Christmas. And there's a Valentine's and I think there's others too. It's really cute. So you just kind of can get the idea of how you can use that. And I'll show you the set here in just a second. Um, what's fun is that I did something a little new for me. I created a scene. I don't typically do scene cards. Um, I might love scene cards now. I don't know. Um, it was really fun. It just kind of came to me as I was putting this together. I knew I wanted to do the truck. I knew it had to have carrots in the back of it, but I was like, well, what about the background? So I started out with some clouds using some ink blending and a stencil. And then I'm like, well, wouldn't it be great if there were grass? And then I was like, what about mountains? Um, so now I kind of want a road. Um, this doesn't have a road, but I have an or a road die cut in my uh in my basket at Simon Says Stamps. So might be having a road coming soon. Yeah, I think it would be cute. I don't know. I don't know if it would fit right, but I just thought it was cute. So I just was going to uh, show you everything that I used. Of course, all of these things will be listed um, below in the description box um, for you to look at. And then of course, use your own stamps. And this is just for inspiration. Uh, I really had fun kind of looking at the picture for their original stamp and then I just expanded from there and I feel like every day I got like a new idea um, and I got really excited to finish it. So I actually have one finished and then um, I've got three more that I'm gonna work on. Those will be done off camera. Um, there's bits and pieces of it on the video as I pull it through, pull it together, but um, I'm just showing the one and I'm, I'm I possibly will have all of them finished for a picture at the end. We'll see. I don't know how much time I'm going to have. So it is a very busy month, week, day, everything. It's so crazy. So it's hard to find the time. Um, so anyway, um, we'll just go down to the table real quick and I'll show you what we're going to use today. All right, so here are all the things that we've used. Um, I won't give you a sneak peek of the card because it is so cute. Um, it, this is my finished card. It, it's really cute. So this is vellum up here, and then I used a, I don't know what they're called. It's like a glitter pen, kind of. Um, it's really neat. Actually, I don't have that on my table, so I'm going to pull that out um, so you can see that. It's really neat. I think I got this one at, it's called Zig Wink of Stella Brush. Um, I actually think I got Hobby Lobby. I have a couple others too. Scrapbook.com has a whole new set of them. They're really cool. So anyway, it's on the list. So this is what I made and it is cute. So I was talking about the mountains and the, um, I used another stitch die. Lawn, all, those are all lawn fun and then some grass I just thought it was really cute and then this truck <clears throat> set that I have oh and then the sun that was from lawn fun this is part of another Easter die that I have too I'll show you what that is but yeah it turned out super cute and then the clouds I I just oh I can't get enough I love it so much I'm probably gonna put it on my desk and stare at it all day Anyway, that sounds super cheesy, but you know, that's what happens when I get excited about something. So, um, things I used. So this is a cloud stencil. Um, and I am not sure where this came from. I ordered it online. So it has lots of little clouds and then it has these here. And that's what I used to create my cloud background. And I just covered this up with like a plastic piece of plastic or paper or something so that I didn't get anything on it. Um, it created these. So these are the others that I'm working on. So really pretty. I used, oh, I don't have that color here. I used salvage patina um, for my clouds. So I just, that's a really pretty color. So um, these are the sets I was talking about. So this is my lawn fawn stitched mountain and lawn fawn stitched hillside. So I used two different of these hillsides, I think, maybe not. Maybe I used just this one. That seems to be the one I always use. And then I used this smaller mountain. Um, these mountains are cute. They come with little snow caps on them. I, I really struggled with what color my mountain should be. Um, I made a few different mountains. <laughs> I didn't know they should be brown. I thought brown mountains were weird, but actually I think it looks fine. So 
but I thought, well, mountains aren't always green and it's Easter, so there shouldn't be snow, depending on maybe, depends on where you're at. Um, the other side of this is the grass that I used. This is not, I don't think, a lawn fawn set, and I'm not really sure where it came from, but again, you know, Amazon, I'm sure. So this is the grass that I use. So everybody, lawn fawn has really good stuff like that. They're good at seeing stuff. They're good at lots of stuff. So this is the set that I was talking about. So this is the the main set and it's got the truck and the little pieces of the truck. This is the carrot, the little license plate. Um, these are the wheels, little bunny, all that. And then I, it has two others. So it's called Red's Farm Truck, just in case, you know, I will have it linked. And this is the Christmas set that goes with it. And then this is the Valentine set. I haven't done anything with either any of them, but they're so cute because they've got their little license plates and I just think it's really cute. So I think that'll be fun. So there's that. I also use I didn't have everything together. This die that said Happy Easter, but I just used the happy part, and the A has little bunny ears. I thought that was really cute. So um, let's see. What else did I use? So these were most of the inks that I used, um, Distressed Oxide, because that's pretty much what my collection is. Um, what I did was I took all my pieces, and you can see I have more pieces here that I haven't done, because I think my next one is going to be in this color, although I don't know if it's going to get... No, I think it'll look pretty with the clouds because it's almost the same color. And then red, I was thinking because of a red truck, but I didn't know red's not very Eastery. So I liked the yellow. I changed my mind. Anyway, I ink blended every single piece on this card just to give it some dimension. All the grass. Well, I didn't ink blend these little flowers. That's a lie. But everything else I did. No, I don't think I ink blended the bunny. Eh, see, I'm a liar. But most of this I ink blended and it, it turned out really good. I just, it gives it a little interest in dimension. So cut, there's a lot of pieces. So that's the only thing, but I did really like it. So these were the different colors I used to do the ink blending. And I think I recorded most of that. So you should see it. I did use one of my new Simon Says Stamp Colors Zest. Um, I really like it. So um, yeah, it was good. Um, I, honestly, I think that's really it. The die cut machine. Um, I'm sure there's little tiny things here and there. And, um, as I go through the video, I'll try to make sure I capture that. Um, but yeah, there was a lot of, I did create a, a template. So I knew what I was doing when I was putting it together. And um, this is something I'm going to start doing a little more often because I think it makes sense. So, and it was really helpful as I was putting it together. Also, it was helpful to decide because I wanted you to be able to see the wind, the wind, the the mountains and the window, that was the idea. So anyway, and then, you know, this will be hard to mail, but oh, it's so cute with a little pom-pom there. So anyway, I just love it. So I think it turned out good. So yeah, anyway, there's a lot of little pieces to this um, set, you know, when you're cutting the little tiny pieces. And here's my, I guess I do have another, yeah. oh yeah, because I'm going to make a second yellow card. So I got my little carrots and, oh. So we'll get that going and put together. So, um, yeah, so that's what we've got. So let's go ahead and uh, get started and we will get this card made. So, all right. Thank you. All right, here we go. I'm going to begin by um, doing the ink blending with the cloud background, as you saw in my example. So that is a cloud stencil that I have. Um, I don't know exactly where that one is from, um, but I did uh, put a good one in the description box below. This is my waffle flower grip mat. Um, and I love this thing. It's great. I have a couple. I have two others in my different misties, and I love it. So the paper just sticks right to it. And then my stencil, as long as it's bigger, sticks right to that. I wash it about once a week. Um, yeah, give or take. So here I'm using um, Ranger Distressed Oxide Salvage Patina. This is a beautiful color. It's really pretty. And um, I am just going to go ahead and um, ink blend some clouds on there. So, and I just go down the whole card. Now, a lot of, you know, in hindsight, I cover a lot of that up, but it just turned out really pretty. And um, I did... I'm trying to be really careful not to hit the um, 
hit the clouds, you know, that are, because there's open clouds in that stencil. I have a little plastic piece. I guess I don't. I don't have it there. But anyway, I thought I was using a little plastic piece, um, but I think I got better as I went along. I did make four of these, but um, I'm only showing you, I think, one of them. Um, so just trying to be careful there not to get into that bottom portion um, of those open clouds. So anyway, it turned out really pretty. I do like it. You just kind of, when you're using a stencil like this, a cloud or something like that, you want to, um, there's the little plastic piece I was talking about because I, I, you know, I didn't want to run the risk of getting ink on that part. Um, so you just lightly blend over the top of that stencil. And then I'll, at the end, I'm going to go over it and with that color, just to kind of blend things out and make it a little more muted. It turns out really pretty, actually. I really like the way it looks and um, I love the clouds. I just, I don't know. I love the clouds. It's really pretty. So just going all the way down um, the whole card and um, the way these stencils work is that you just, um, you can move them kind of from side to side. And this particular stencil has clouds um, on both sides. So I can use the bottom or the top and move it to the right or the left. And that's kind of how you get the variation in the clouds. Um, I think it's it's really pretty. It turns out really nice. And that little piece of plastic is just a piece of acetate um, so that I don't get below. Um, I also use that in my Misty sometimes when I practice stamping um, so I can, you know, just check placement and that kind of thing. So yeah, so I'm just getting the last of this one up or finished, excuse me. And yeah, it's pretty. I like it. I like I like clouds. I think they look nice. That's a good color for clouds. This is the first time I've used salvaged, salvaged patina for clouds, and I really like the way it looks. So I'm um, trying to decide if I was going to do another one on the bottom. D didn't really need to. So I just took what was left on my brush and kind of just buffed all of that out. So it made it nice and soft, um, like, you know, clouds are soft and billowy and all of that. So it turned out, um, I really love making, I like cloud panels. And then, you know, the way this card turns out, it, it looks really nice. I think that's really pretty. All right. So now it's my finished card panel, right? So here is where I'm kind of trying to decide what's next. I wasn't originally going to put mountains on there. I wasn't going to put a big green hillside. I was only going to put grass. But then I was like, I just kind of had an epiphany, like, that'll look cute. I'm going to make these a scene card. And um, now that I've made a scene card, I want to make all the scene cards. I just think it is so cute. I've got some cute um, things coming up for this. I did just buy, I thought a road would be really adorable. Um, and I am going to um, do a road <laughs> next. So here... You brought out my waffle flower grip map. You saw the different inks. Those are the inks that I'm going to use to go ahead and ink blend um, some dimension onto the different pieces. My mountains, my grass, um, and the hillside, and the sun, and all of that. So this one I'm using um, espresso, if I remember correctly, on the mountain background. That mountain background um, was cut with stitched hillsides by lawn or no excuse me stitched mountains by lawn fawn that's a really fun one because it actually has snow caps and i'm like oh for christmas oh i can't wait i want to make all the little truck cards i think it'll be really cute um so we're just putting some inked dimension onto the mountains i ended up not using this one because you can see there's a little weird like edge on that one and i did cut a few different ones so yeah but and then cleaning up in between each ink of course all right and here we're now working on our grassy green slope um and i am using rustic wilderness so this rustic wilderness didn't 
Oh no, I lie. I started out with pine needles. I, I didn't like that. Um, I don't think I liked either one. I kind of needed a darker green um, for the contrast, but you know what? It ends up working out fine. You can't really tell that I inked these, um, but it does give it a little bit of a different look. So I went with Rustic Wilderness. It's kind of my favorite. Um, it's my go-to green. I really like it. It does look better on the grass. So here's the grass. And I just inked up those edges of the grass, and I think that looked really good. So it all blends together really well. Um, it, it looks good. On some of the others that I inked, I did more around the edges and stuff. So, I don't know, I got better at every turn. Um, at the end of the video, you'll see something that I did after I did my first one which I love so much, and I want to do it on every card, but, you know, spoiler alert, I'm not going to tell you what it is. So this is where I started. I used squeezed lemonade to begin with, but I didn't like that because it didn't really do anything for me. So I felt like, so this was me moving it and getting a different color, and I used, um, goodness, what is that one called? It's called Fossilized Amber. Um, another distressed oxide and it just gave it the right amount of you know coloring uh, darkened edges around my little son uh, super cute I think that came from lawn font as well they just have cute stuff like that the same as my stitched hillside uh, I think the grass came from there and also my stitched mountains um, so now I am um, I've come back to this. I'm getting all my, my pieces that have been, um, that have been inked and I'm going to put things together. And what I was doing is trying to decide where I wanted the placement so that I could, I wanted you to see the mountains through the car window, the truck back window, even though I'm going to have it filled with carrots. Um, I still, you can kind of see the the tops of them and it's really cute. So I just used my pencil to make a little tick mark and cut it where I wanted to cut it using my smallest of my Tim Holtz trimmers. I really like this one. Um, there's a bigger one that I want. Um, so, you know, one of these days I have two. Um, I just, I love the guillotine. I really like the guillotine of that. Um, all right. And <clears throat> so we're just gonna get things placed and glued I think is what we're going to do get the background going so that I have that set and we can work on that and then I can you know work on it or work on the rest of it excuse me putting the truck together so yeah oh cute like that so um I'm going to bring out the glue press I have been using this religiously now and I do really like it um it you know I still feel like my hand slips a little bit but that's not a glue press issue that's a me issue and the, I have a I don't have a good grip on my hands but it you know I like it I like the the way the glue comes out it works out really good so um yep getting my brick on here so I can just get things make sure all the glue I need to get a bigger one um so I'll do that one of these days but it this works um and then I thought because I see others do this where I could just kind of put this right in the corner of my scoring tool so that I could make sure everything lined up right, but it wasn't doing that. So I did not do that. <laughs> and that is okay. Um, so this worked out fine um, just the way I was doing it because they're nice straight edges, you know, and I can just kind of move them into place and everything works fine. So using my brick to get that um, glued down. All right, and next we go for the grass. Now this was a little messy because I didn't, I wanted to make sure the little grass pieces were, you know, stuck down. So it was a little tedious. I don't know that I did a very good job, but it worked out fine actually. They all glued fine. So, yeah. And then we get this glued down. So it's a great, it's a cute background. I, I like this. I could see this for a lot of things. I would like to have the road. I did order the road. It comes on Thursday. Um, and I am anxious to try one with a road and see what that looks like. If you can even see it, I'm not real sure. 
So I was letting it sit to just kind of, I think I got, you know, I was watching videos while I was doing this. One of the reasons I do the voiceovers. <laughs> so plus there's a lot of chaos in the, in my house, a lot of chaos. So there is definitely that. There's still chaos as I'm trying to record voiceovers now. So now we've got, I'm bringing out the waffle flour grip mat. These are the other little pieces to my trucks. I start with the yellow. I did do the ink blending on some of, on all four pieces for some of them, but not for all of them. And, um, I did ink blend literally every piece, except for the bunny's feet. I didn't ink blend and I didn't ink blend the Easter's bunny bodies until the last two. So here I'm pulling out my, um, my smallest blending brushes that I have. And this color is, I think hickory smoke is what I used on the gray. And I did that with the so for the bumper and the tires, I didn't do black tires. I just did gray tires with the hickory smoke on there. Just trying to get it really, uh, get those nice and inked up. I realize I need to kind of put them a little bit farther apart. So, um, but yeah, so they're super cute and they, um, that, the darker ink really contrasts better. So it's just something I need to remember as I am doing these. I'll probably speed up a little further or speed the rest of this ink blending up a little bit more um, just because there's a, a fair amount of it coming up ahead of here. And I think I got all the ink blending done, most of it in one fell swoop. So um, I will go ahead and um, maybe I'll just put a little music on while we get some ink blending done. How's that sound?
All right, and now we've got our adorable carrot. So we're gonna start gluing things together. So here I'm gluing all 10 of my carrots. So I only did two, well, I really just did one card to begin with, but I did glue some of this stuff together um, in multiples, like the carrots. So I did 10 to begin with. I'm gonna go ahead and glue on my sun. Um, so it's there in the corner of my card, just trying to get things lined up where I want them. That's really cute. Um, I still, you know, tweezers are my best friend. That's just what I use. <laughs> so now I can begin figuring out what my car is going to look like with my little carrots in the back window. So I've got all my pieces inked here. Um, that you just saw me work through. So I've got both for both cars. So um, it's the back end of a truck. There's a little truck bed. I love the yellow. I think the yellow is so pretty. It turned out really good. That's a pretty color. Um, that new Simon Says Stamp color that was Zest. And I really, I really like it. I like the new Simon Says Stamp stuff. Um, and you'll notice I have my phone up there because I got this stamp on Amazon and I kind of was trying to figure out placement. So I'm looking at their example because um, I kind of followed suit. They had an example that had carrots in the back of the truck and then an, an example that had eggs in the back of the truck. And I really liked the carrots. I thought those were, those were really cute. So, um, and they turned out really, yeah, they, it, it's cute. It's cute with the carrots. I don't know. I like the carrots way better than the eggs. So I'll be anxious to put together the Christmas and the Valentine's ones. So, um, but this yellow is cute. I did create, make a red one, which, you know, red truck. And, and the set is called Red's Farm Truck. Um, but... I didn't think red was really springy and eastery. So this is what I went with and I loved it. So that's kind of what it's going to look like. See how cute I love it. So I think I might shove the, I think I shove the carrots down a little bit more and I wasn't sure I had, I was originally going to do a white back of the truck, but I didn't. And you know, in hindsight, I kind of feel like maybe that top yellow piece goes on top like on top of that, but I put it above it, but it all looks good. I don't think there's anything wrong with it. And I really like the way it turned out. So, yeah, so, so here I'm going to begin gluing the carrots. So they're so cute. They're so adorable. I just saw a new stamp set that I would really like to get from it's lawn fawn. So I put it on my lawn fawn list because I'm going to go to Oregon here shortly and um, craft warehouse is in Oregon and they carry quite a bit of lawn fawn. So I'm hoping they have it. They're called, it's like this vegetables. They have like a, you know, a carrot and a beet and a cauliflower cabbage. Oh, they're so cute. And you can put little faces on them. Adorable. So I thought I really want to make that or I want to get that set. So we'll see. Um, but anyway, for another day, I don't really need another stamp set, um, but they're so dang cute. So here we are. Um, so the carrot and I did move the carrots down a little bit from how my first how I first had them placed. And I did that because I really wanted I wanted to see a little bit of the mountains in the background. So the next three cards that I do are a little different. Um, I forgot to cut off the grass and the, you know, so everything's a little longer, but it's still really cute. Also something I, I put glue all the way to the top and I didn't need it. I don't know what I was thinking. It was kind of funny, but that's totally fine. So, you know, I don't know. I, I did this over a span of a couple weeks or something and, I kind of forgot between the first one and the second, third, and fourth one. But they are still very cute. And because of what I do to the second, third, and fourth one, I think it all works out fine. Which you'll see in the end what that little extra piece is. So, anyway. Okay, just continuing to get our 
super cute yellow truck glued together with our little carrots in the background. I showed this to my husband and here's me taking a break. I was watching a video <laughs> and I'm talking or something. Look at how my hands are like I must have been, I don't know what I was doing. It's so funny to re-watch how you do things after. I don't know. It's funny. So anyway, when I showed these to my husband, he made him think of Zootopia, um, the Disney movie. And, you know, the little bunny and um, her, you know, her family ran a carrot farm. Anyway, that's what it made him think of. So, um, yeah. So it was really... It was uh, really good. And then, so here's the top that I was talking about. You know, I kind of, <clears throat> yeah, this is the top. And it, I think it's supposed to go over the top of that little truck back, truck bed. Um, but that's okay. I'll know that for next time. Uh, but, you know, who know? Who, you, who would know? Nobody's going to know because you can't really tell. And I think it looks totally fine the way I did it. So nobody would ever know. So super cute. I like how on this one, the yellow, you know, the I tried to make the back end of it like a little lighter. Um, I think I did that on all of them. Now we're going to put the little tires on and um, make sure that... All right, so <laughs> these little tires are cute. So they, you can't tell because this is not the best camera in the world, but they have um, some texture to them, which is, it's just really cute. So I really do like them. I think they're adorable. So it turned out really good. Yeah. So getting that on there, I got my little tires, readjusting my tires. Something I also learned after... Hmm. Well, when I add the extra piece to it, you know, at the end of this video, I decided that my truck needed needed a little more um, heft to it. So I did put another um, piece on the back of it. So um, it turned out cute. So there's my my little tail lights. I did those in red glitter cardstock. Um, you know, so I've said this before, card making is just a really nice scrap buster. It's pretty amazing how you can just, what you can use up. It's just because all the pieces are so tiny. They're so cute. Okay, so we're getting closer to the end here. With our little carrot truck. Um, getting those tail lights lined up. Um, you know, making sure everything's kind of uniform and makes sense. So um, these are the little rear view mirrors. So cute. Just adorable. It's a cute set. I know I keep saying that. So getting the other one on there. Um, yeah, they're, they're different. So <laughs> I was having a little trouble finding the right one. I do really like that glue press. Now I keep mentioning that too, but I think, you know, um, I, I would definitely give it a thumbs up if you want to give it a try. It's a different squeeze of the glue. Um, so depending on, you know, if you have any hand issues, you know, it might be, might be worthwhile. Um, I really like it. So, okay. Now we're putting our little bunny feet together so these were so tiny um and they are a little different so there are two feet and I did glue them incorrectly at first but that's okay um and you can't tell it's fine <laughs> so one's just got a little pink hanging out but um they're really tiny so but very cute and then it comes with a tail um, there's a tail that you can cut out of paper. You know, I would say if you're going to mail this, that's probably a good idea. Um, I did something different and I really like the little pom pom. I thought it was cute. Now, if somebody puts it in the mail, I don't know, you might have some challenges with that, but, um, I went with what I thought was cute at this point, not what I felt like was going to go in the mail properly. <laughs> so that's okay. There we go. So yeah, little feet. 
these were hard to kind of get lined up just there they were tiny as you can see so um yeah use the block i use that every time just to get everything adhered so and that's what it's gonna look like super cute <clears throat> i did keep going back to the picture um because this was a set i bought on amazon um keep going back to the picture to um make sure that I was kind of placing things in the right spot. So the bunny, yeah, it was kind of, I kind of, I wasn't sure, but I think the placement's okay. But anyway, I, cause he's supposed to be like, he's climbing in and into the truck, you know, after he's ran after it, that's kind of the idea. So, all right, there was my pom poms. I went to get those. I was like, oh, these need little pom poms for his little bunny tail. So yeah, I don't put those on until the end. I think actually I might've done it at the beginning on this card, but it, for the rest I did at the end because it was a little harder to do the things I needed to <clears throat> do with pom pom on there. <laughs> so mm, yeah, it's yeah, but that's very cute. I think I like the yellow. I think the yellow truck might be my favorite. But the blue or, I don't know, tealy color that I did is also super cute. So hard to say. Um, all right. So now we're kind of getting it together. I love, I just love the way this looks, the little scene. I think it's so cute. Um, I really like it. So um, we still got a few more little pieces that we put on here. Okay. And here we're going to use the glue press and get this glued on to our card front um yeah so just right and then we'll put the finishing additional details onto the card front or onto the card but i wanted to get this piece on there oh i love the scene i think that's super cute and there's a lot of possibilities here which is really great i think the carrots are my favorite i think carrots are cute um so yeah so just kind of waiting for a second while that dried and adhered so all right and there oh little pom-pom so okay so now we're going to put the additional little details so i went ahead and i did the license plate i i tried to match my colors so i used the pink for the flowers for the same pink as the bunny feet this color was my attempt at matching to that salvaged patina it's actually the same color that i used for the other truck color and then i switched and did a yellow license plate so anyway i was just trying to make things you know put thing using the same color so things um, blended well together. Um, I used the same greens as the grass and the hill and the carrot tops and then yeah the pink and I think that's it as far as details go. Um, these were tiny little flowers trying to get a little glue on there and get your leaves in where you wanted. Oh and then the middle of the flowers I used the gold glitter as well. I just thought that little gold pop was cute um, and went with the and went with the yellow truck on the turquoise or whatever color I don't know what you want to call it I mean I tried to match it to that salvaged patina ink is what I was my attempt at that so we'll call it that that is not the name of the card sock and that was Jaden did you see his little head pop in there <laughs> and uh anyway <clears throat> um lost my train of thought there so oh and i used silver on for that truck for that one i used silver instead of the gold because it was more i guess cool colors and i felt like that matched better so the yellow with the gold was a little more warm so yeah he wanted me to put the code in probably on his game i'm sure of it that's something along those lines <laughs> that's typically what he's coming in there for so So I did a couple different leaves. I did do the same color of flowers. So, you know, I don't know. You can do whatever you would like to do. You know, if you buy this set or if you have something similar um, when you're doing scene, you can put it, put it together however you want. There's a couple different styles of flowers, but the leaves are all the same. And that's just for the main set. The main Red's farm truck is 
like an Easter set. It's got the carrots and the Easter eggs, which is also the bunny bottom. And, um, and it comes with the truck. The others, the, the additional sets are just kind of the things that would go in the truck and outside of the truck. So there's a Christmas tree and all that. So I think I'm probably going to make that one pretty soon since I'm kind of on a roll. These are really cute and fun to make. And I have a red truck ready to go actually. So I think that'd be really cute and little snowy mountains. So I love that idea. So yeah, just kind of putting this where I think they'll be cute. Um, bigger flowers kind of on the bumper. Um, you don't need to, but I think it's a cute little added extra to this whole card. And I and you'll see in a little while, I don't actually cut it down. Um, I just left it the four and a quarter by five and a half um, size because, and I just put it all on the front of the card. Now you could, you could cut it down a little bit, but that's a, it's a big truck. So it kind of fills the whole page. And I think it's, I think that's fine. So I would say that that's the first time that I have done that where I haven't cut down the card panel to put on my card base. Um, but I liked it. It fit perfectly. I did have to trim a couple. Um, you know, the paper that I get, it's not the really good stuff, I guess. So it's not, doesn't seem to always be cut the right way. So um, that's okay. I decided that using my reverse tweezers was an easier way to accomplish this. <laughs> that's what I did. Um, and it works out. It does work out better. So that's nice. Yeah, I'm almost done here with all my flour. And that's when I think I realized I needed to cut the little insides. Um, I probably walk away to do that here. All right, there were a lot of parts and pieces to this one. Um, so, but it was still really fun to put together. So that's why this, this video is definitely a little longer than my normal um, at this moment as I'm doing my voiceover I'm looking at 57 minutes so um, if you are joining me for the whole thing I really do appreciate it um, I hope that you learned a few things um, or even just got inspired I mean I think you know my main goal here is inspiration um, I tend to watch videos and then I get inspired I watched a video this morning while I was getting ready and I did I got inspired and was like oh man I can't wait to go make that card so I've got the idea written down um, in my little sketchbook so it'll be on an upcoming one so upcoming video I think so um, but yeah I do get inspired and that's kind of the idea I mean I do like, oh, I want to go buy that product. Um, but I will say, you know, I have a Cricut and I'm going to try to use that a little more in my card making um, for some things because I can do certain things or print certain things and I don't need to necessarily go buy the stamp set for it. So it depends on what I'm doing. And that was my new idea. So see how I cut those little gold insides of the flowers. I think that really added, it kind of picks up the gold in the license plate. I thought that was really cute. So now I'm trying to decide, it needs something to say. It says Easter in the license plate, but I wanted to say happy. So this is a set. I, the yellow's cute, you know, in hindsight, maybe, but I love the vellum because then you can really see through the clouds. Um, it's kind of, um, I don't know, it's real muted, but I thought it was cute. I did have a little trouble getting it to stick. Because it's vellum, glue will, you can see through it, so that's kind of a bummer. And then um, I used a spray glue that just didn't quite work out to my advantage, but I ended up getting it on there. So I'm showing you those pens because I was thinking, ooh, I think I'm going to put a little sparkle on that vellum, and that is what I end up doing. Um, you'll see that here just shortly. Um, working on my card base. So my card base, that is four and a quarter by 11. And then I scored five and a half for a top folding card. This paper is never even. So I always have to trim a little bit off. And I just use my little baby uh, Tim Holtz trimmer and it works perfect. Um, it's just the way the paper is. And then, you know, I might have to trim off a few of these. I had to kind of 
make a, some adjustments because of the trim and that's okay you know just the way it is although it was really thick to cut through <laughs> this one I don't know that I had to do it on this one but I definitely did on a few others but it was okay so trying to use that to again line things up um, it just it just didn't really work I don't know why other people do that and I wonder if it just doesn't have enough of a lip on the scoring board that I have that could be it so could be I don't know for sure so all right using my glue press I again beginning to really like the glue press I just worked used it on my uh, daughter's science fair project actually and the glue worked really well so yeah, just getting it kind of into place there, right at the top, it covers the whole card front, That's or card base. That's the whole point. Um, those other dies to the right over there are just some other dies. I haven't used those yet. I only use that happy because it has the little ears for the A. I thought that was really cute. So here's where I do have to do a little trimming. Um, and it was thick. <laughs> It was really hard. It might have needed to, it was, oh, it was a little hard to get down there, but not too bad. So, got it all trimmed up. Pressing everything down. And then here's the pen. So, these are like a glitter pen. I've got a few, one's from scrapbook.com. And I don't, it's dried out. So, I don't know if I can fix that or not. Um, but it wasn't the right color anyway. Then there's a purple one. I think maybe that one's, that's the one I end up using. There's a purple one, which is pretty, but it doesn't go with it. This is just like a clear glitter pen. It's from Wink of Stella, I believe. It's down in the description box if you're interested. I actually think I might have got it from Hobby Lobby, maybe. Um, I'm sure they sell it online. I do think that I linked it for somewhere online um, but I just put a little shine over the vellum um, just to kind of pick that up and then on this card I don't do it but I do it later in the other three and come back to it I actually put it on the middle of the sunshine as well because I thought that looked really cute and um, yeah just picks it and you can kind of see it you know maybe if I when I Hopefully when I pick it up, you'll kind of see it. It is that it, vellum is pretty muted. So I, I don't know if it's the right choice or not, but I do really like it. So these pens are nice though. Um, Scrapbook.com has a whole new set of that. See, you can kind of pick that up. I think it's pretty. Just makes it stand out just a little bit more. Um, should be time for the pom-pom, I think. Oh yeah, here it is. So get my little, so I did that last um, cause it takes a little bit for that to adhere cause it's, you know, not paper. Um, but once it's on there, it's good. That glue works pretty well. So, but you do have to let it sit there for a little bit. But that's my, that's my finished card. Like, isn't that pretty? I think it looks really nice. Um, so it wasn't standing up very well. I was like, oh no, but it's just because of the glass mat. That's the only reason. So once I had it on something else, it stood up fine. All right, so here's the extra piece. All right, so this was a finished of the blue truck, as you can see, and then I had already done this once, this little extra piece. So you can kind of see how it's sticking up from the card. It has like a spring to it. I just thought that was, I loved it. I was so, I was like, I have to do this. I have to try I. So where it came from, I was watching a video from Jennifer McGuire and she did this on a card and I was like, I love this idea. So um, I decided to try it. So I realized on that one that I was showing you that my truck was a little flimsy. So I went ahead and cut an extra back and I put it on the back there. The, what I was showing you of the grass there was that my grass was too tall. It needed a trim, but I didn't trim it, so oh well. So this paper dimension is four and a half by, I think I did two inches. Um, hers in her video, she did three and a half, and then you score it at a half inch three times on each side. Um, and then you basically are just making a little accordion once you've got it scored, okay, just like this. I was so, she's so, 
she's a genius with this stuff. She does, it's great. And then you use your bone folder to make sure that that's straight. Now, my scoring was a little weird and off, so I pro I was hurrying, and I probably shouldn't have hurried, but it worked out fine. I did feel like my truck was like a little, mm, I don't know if lopsided is the right word for it, but like one side was maybe standing up a little more, but it's probably just me. So anyway, just score it really well. Um... And then you've got this little, yeah, it's kind of like a spring. That's how I look at it. So, um, so then you, you're going to glue it to the back of whatever it is. You can do this with anything that you want to pop up. Um, and it's just genius. I love it. And you're going to put it right in the middle there and glue it because you, I did mine shorter because I, I didn't want you to see it. You know, I didn't want you to see it through the carrots. So I just have it on the back of that portion right there. And look, isn't that cute? It's just, just a little pop-up. And then you're going to take that, glue that right on to the back wherever you want it. So I have to stand up a little bit. So excuse me hanging over there. And we'll get that dry. So I hadn't actually done the extra pieces. So you can see that I do that just like on the front, but it pops up. It's so cute. I just love it. So anyway, I wanted to show that extra bit for you. You can see it in my pictures too. I really hope you like this video. Please uh, share, um, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. Can't wait to make a card with you again soon. Thank you.